Hi, I'm Jim Gordon, and you're watching Market One Minute. Joining us is Jay Hutton. He is the CEO and President of Visibility Group Technologies. Jay, welcome back. Thank you, Jim. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Okay, tell our viewers a little bit about visibility and the benefits of merging technology of visibility with a retail media network. Well, for the first many years of our existence, we were an R&D company mm -hmm. focusing on computer vision and artificial intelligence. Briefly, what that is, is the ability to take video streams from cameras to understand context. How many men, how many women, how many 25 year olds, how many 35 year olds, how many unhappy people, how many happy people. Right. And this becomes an incredibly valuable uh, technology as you apply computer vision to advertising. Advertising in retail, your regular shopper's drug mart or your Kroger has had advertising for as long as they've existed. Right. We're now converting that to digital and then measuring it with computer vision. So not only do brands have the ability to deploy digitally in store, but now they can measure that experience, which leads to ROI, which leads to greater investment in that technology. This is why retail media is going to be so explosive. You recently announced a Visibility's acquisition of Shelf 9. Now, how does that affect the company? Well, Shelf 9 is a retail media network. They deploy physical digital display in grocery, convenience store, and various other retail type outlets, predominantly in the Northeast category, which is a very high value from an sure. advertising perspective. New York, Washington, Philadelphia. We deploy our tech stack to support that technology, but what's really nice about that deal is it puts us in the last mile. It puts us at the advertising interface with the customer. We've never been there before. We're a tech stack company. Right. Part of what we do is deliver the utility to provide that capability. But what's nice about this is, well, in the past, we've always been on the bridge. We've never been at the helm. We're at the helm, which means that we have greater attractiveness, greater um, connectivity to the actual deployment of the technology. Uh, Jay, tell us about the technology you recently deployed and finalized uh, in a deal with an NBA arena. Yeah, one of the things about dealing with large brands and, and large professional sports organizations is they don't let you talk about a lot. Uh, but one of the things that's deployed is uh, a cooler application for a very large beverage company, right. which is branded in the, in, in the uh, arena. So in, it's with our new technology, which is transparent cooler glass. It shows messages on the glass, but then the glass is also see-through to the cooler. So it's a very unique technology. By the way, all of this is measured with computer vision. So we get a metric at the end. We get what they, we call a data dividend. We can tell Coca-Cola or, or whomever yeah, right, right. Uh, what kind of interface or interaction they've had with their audience. So it's a breakthrough opportunity for us and a significant deal. And Jay, what is the strategy behind the recent consolidation of visibility shares? Well, we heard on a fairly regular basis, I'm in charge of the capital market side of the company, which is sometimes good and sometimes bad. I'm very much in the business as well, so I'm not just the capital markets guy. Right. But we were hearing pretty consistently that we had too many shares issued and outstanding. So we had to make a move on that if we were going to position for growth. So we did that by, by virtue of a 10 to 1 rollback, which I think has resulted in the kind of outcome we expected. We're getting far more interest from uh, noteworthy parties. We've got strategic uh, participants that are talking to us that weren't talking to us before. So we'll see. But that was the objective and, and we think it's achieving the outcome. Leads us right into our last question. What is next for visibility? Well, I think uh, we've talked before, Jim, that the company has a foot in the retail camp and a foot in the security camp, both of which are inspired by and driven by this computer vision utility. On the security, it does different things, and we've just, we've just discussed what it does on the retail side. Right. The very next thing for the company is, is we're going to start doing more deals on the security side, and in short order, I think. They're much harder and take longer to do, because right. usually the customer is a sovereign government, uh, but that's what I think is immediate for us in terms of next steps. That and strategic relationships with large uh, uh, go-to-market partners. Jay, always fascinating when we talk. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jim. Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. Thanks for watching this Market One Minute on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with other videos that we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click on this list to see other great videos from Market One. And thank you again for watching.